In 1956, the French Air Ministry proposed the specifications for what would be a new supersonic bomber that would carry the first French atomic bomb. The Dassault Mirage 4 was an expanded version of the Mirage 3, which entered service in 1964, becoming the spearhead of the French Nuclear Deterrence Force. Its career lasted over 40 years, where in the last 10, it performed aerial reconnaissance tasks. Welcome to a new video. This is Zeropedia. In the midst of the Cold War, Europe already felt the need to be able to respond to an attack with a high-speed bomber plane that could launch a nuclear bomb as a nuclear reprisal against the Soviet Union. This is how the construction of this bomber was financed, which was ahead of its time. The idea of the Dassault company was for this strategic bomber to be a development of the interceptor that was being developed in the mid-50s, the Mirage 3. In November 1956, the project is approved by the Ministry of National Defense and the French Armed Forces. A year later, the first prototype begins to be manufactured, equipped with two Snegma Attar engines, engines that were used in countless French planes. Like the Super Mixtech, the Sud Aviation Batuk, the Mirage 3, the Mirage F1, the Mirage 5, the Etendard 4, and the Super Etendard. It was a heavy two seater twin engine supersonic bomber with a delta wing design, and the pilot and navigator sat in tandem, that is, one in front of the other. It can carry two large external fuel tanks under its wings and a weapon load pylon under the central fuselage. It had a maximum takeoff weight of 33 tons with a range of 1,240 kilometers with the internal fuel tanks. Its maximum speed was Mach 2.2 or 2.3, 50 kilometers per hour and it had five attachments for carrying up to 7,250 kilos of armament. From the beginning of its development on the design table, it was equipped with a basket and flexible hose air refueling system to increase combat range. The prominent tip of the aircraft is not a pitot tube or an antenna, it's an air refueling probe. The front part of the plane is utilized, as it did not have a radar there, but its huge radar was located under the fuselage. The Mirage 4 has a very thin Allen Delta, 3.5% relative thickness, with a large surface located in a low position and with a pronounced 60 degree sweep on the leading edge. It has two air brakes located near both wing roots. It has a pair of brake chutes to be able to land on relatively short runways. It's an Allen Delta bomber, very maneuverable, that can take off from short runways with the installation of external rockets. For takeoff at the rear fuselage under the engines. It kept flying for many years. 
commissioned in the French Air Force as a supersonic retaliation aircraft in the event of unconventional warfare, capable of supersonic flight and able to drop a free-fall atomic bomb and, after a few years, launch a nuclear missile mounted under the central fuselage. Dassault presented the proposal for a version of the Mirage 4 with the new Rolls-Royce Avon engines, which were English engines, and these were offered. Was the purchase of the Mirage 4 seriously considered when in 1965? The British government cancelled the supersonic TSR-2 aircraft project before deciding on the new twin-engine bomber, the American-made General Dynamics F-111. At Bark. This bomber-strength aircraft was organized into three wings. These combat wings were each divided into three bomber squadrons, each with four aircraft. At a different airbase, to minimize the possibility of an enemy attack and avoid destroying the entire bomber force. After establishing their own deterrent force, commonly known as the Force de Frappe, France withdrew from NATO's military command structure in 1966 to have more independence in its defense, but cooperating with the use of airbases if NATO needed them in the future for the defense of Europe. The main targets of the new Mirage 4 force, which were the most modern bomber models of the time, were the major Soviet cities and their military bases. With the in-flight refueling system, the plane was capable of attacking Moscow, Murmansk or any of the other cities in Ukraine and Eastern Europe operating from French air bases. In order to refuel the Mirage 4 fleet, France purchased 14 tanker aircraft and these were the Boeing KC-135 Stratotanker from the United States. Initially, the basic flight attack profile of the Mirage 4 combat wing was of the high altitude combat mission type and a max speed of 1.85. By the end of the 60s, when the threat of the new high altitude ground to air missiles from the Soviet Union were very dangerous, the Mirage 4 was modified to be able to operate in low altitude missions and avoid being detected by enemy radar signals. Flying at low altitude, the maximum attack speed was reduced to 1, 62 miles h, less than Mach 1, and the combat radius was also reduced. In the 70s, it was clear that the vulnerability of the bombers to the new air defense systems of the Soviet Union and Eastern Europe made the delivery of gravity bombs like the AN-11 or the AN-22 impractical. The development of new ASMP nuclear missiles then began with a range of up to 400 kilometers and a single payload of 150 or 300 kilotons of nuclear warhead. In the cone of the 18 missile, Mirage 4 were modified to carry this new missile under the central fuselage and two large external fuel tanks under the wings instead of freefall bombs and received the new designation Mirage IVP for deep penetration into enemy territory. The first strategic bomber, converted into the Mirage 4P, flew on October 12, 1982 and entered service on May 1st, 86. This variant could only carry one missile or any weapon mounted inside a reconnaissance pod under the central line of the fuselage. Similar to the supersonic bomber Convair B-58 Hassler, which had already been retired from service in the United States. In 1996, the nuclear mission of the supersonic bomber Mirage 4P was transferred to the new light fighter Mirage 2000N and several Mirage 4P. They took on the new role of high altitude reconnaissance, where they have participated in active service in Bosnia, Iraq, Kosovo and Afghanistan.
It successfully flew for over 40 years on patrol missions in the country's border areas, avoiding reaching supersonic speeds so as not to damage the fuselage and engines, which would reduce its operational life, increasing the cost of flight per hour and for advanced repairs. It was not exported to other countries due to its very specific function. It was recently replaced by the new multipurpose fighter Dassault Rafale, which, although it is a much smaller plane, had the ability to carry a missile armed with a nuclear warhead. Due to the emergence of new tactical missiles with greater precision, these long-range supersonic bomber planes became obsolete, and the development of new mass production models was not continued, due to its very specific function of attacking enemy targets with nuclear weapons in the event of unconventional warfare. Until a new video, my name is Marcos and this is Aeropedia.